y'all i am tired i just woke up this morning not just woke up maybe 15 minutes ago uh, but i did brush my teeth for y'all so thank you you're welcome something like that hey my name is james and i'm a christian youtuber and i go on this channel and talk about things that interest me and i just want to make a quick video about this whole matt chandler thing because it's interesting i woke up this morning and for some reason i never do this but i checked twitter because i was kind of interested if kanye west was restored i know i think i'm obsessed with this kanye west story but um, I did that and I don't actually even use Twitter. I haven't tweeted anything I think in like a year um, Because I don't find it a great platform, but um, I saw that what number one thing trending on Twitter was Matt Chandler and I was like, huh? Well, what's going on here? And I looked and Matt Chandler was restored yesterday as his role as a pastor and People are very upset. There's a lot of outrage from what I can see. There's confusion uh, There's wait, why are people upset? This is why we're upset. People shouldn't be upset. It was an interesting conversation. Now, I'm a little confused on the outrage here. Now, someone who is against abuse of all forms, I mean, I've made videos about Ravi Zacharias, Carl Lentz, um, you know, all these excesses in the church, whether it's false prophets, sexual abuse, um, money abuse. I mean, if you look at my channel, I am calling out a lot of people. That's a good portion of this channel. Heretic hunters and abuses in the church. For good or worse, or good or bad, or whatever it is, right? Um, but I don't see this from Matt Chandler. And here's why. There's just not enough information. Um, I think what is happening is a lot of people are projecting on this situation, right? There's real abuse in the church. You know, people are relating it to the SBC scandal. Um, people are relating it to just what they've seen in the corporate world. All this stuff there, where a powerful man... Um, is using his position to be back in power, to be restored, and we don't know the story of the woman who's involved. And for a lot of people, the simple conclusion is this is uh, clearly abuse in the church. Now, we don't really know what happened with this woman. We don't know if she didn't want to come out. We don't know if she signed an NDA. We don't know if this was what she wanted. We don't know if they were both like, well, we don't think this is a scandal. I mean, for far as we know, they matt chandler and the woman only reason they felt like anything was inappropriate was due to um her friend who thought it was strange that they were texting each other at worst this is a relationship that many people just didn't like and then there's other things on the other side well that people ask them, can men and women be friends in church or can men and women do ministry together and the roles of that and when is it appropriate when is it not appropriate there's a lot of questions that people have been deciphering about Matt Chandler in this whole situation. And I think these, his elders kind of screwed him over, to be honest, because the information they gave to us just isn't a lot. Now, if they did keep it secret and then it came out, this will be a huger scandal. And it's this weird thing where you don't want to, like, um, you know, break someone's privacy if they don't want something, right? And so there's this hard thing here on what to do, what to do, what to do. And the truth of the matter is, if I was in that situation as an elder, I'm not sure. But I can tell you that when it comes to how the village church handled it, it seemed pretty bad. I mean, people are like, they're, you know, just making so many like false accusations on Twitter um, that Matt Chandler is an abuser. There's no proof of that, that Matt Chandler is someone who is a manipulator. There's no proof of that. We don't have information like that, if you ask me. It seems like there's been other scandals of the um, village church um, that has happened. We have a church of that size, that much staff. There's things that have happened. And I've always felt like in the past, the village church has handled those things the best they can. And there's never ever a perfect way how. Um, and so there should be a little bit of grace for our leadership and our elders. At the same time, I think they could have handled this better. Um, a lot of people felt like this is just the same old, same old, but this isn't a Ravi Zacharias story. story. And this doesn't seem to be a Carl Lynn story. This seems to be like, if it is what it is, right? Just two people who must have been texting some stuff that the elders did not think was appropriate for an elder. And, you know, Matt Schiller went on about this is a, this is on health in my life. I mean, we don't really know. Um, I thought the whole thing was just kind of goofy the way they handled it at best, at worst or whatever. Um, at best, gosh, it's too early. I mean, I pray that there's no actual abuse. I hope that this woman really did feel like she was heard. I really hope that she felt like this was the best thing. I mean, in a situation like this, no one really wins. And what we need to do is pray for that woman and her husband anyway, and that family, 
because there's no way that this ended up well for them. At the same time, this doesn't mean Matt Chandler is an abuser or did anything inherently wrong. He might have just made a wrong decision. And this is just a reminder, we should always watch who, what we're texting, what we're saying. I'm not saying men and women can't be friends, um, but it is easy, I guess, to cross a line. I don't have a lot of close women friends personally. Um, and I don't have anybody that I actually text regularly besides my girlfriend. Um, and you can ask her, I'm not a big texter anyway. Um, so I don't really know. I'm in these group chats and I'm like the most silent one of all, my bad guy. I'll say it again. Some of y'all so anti-woke, you're sleep deprived. This guy really wrote that maybe Matt Chandler texts this woman because he thought it was okay to embrace CRT. So when someone actually does something that's abusive or cheats on their wife and they don't embrace CRT, is it because of conservative theology? Come on, don't be goofy.